I travel on the road, I got to get workouts in because I can't right. lose ground. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Especially like wrestling. I feel like comedy is a lot like wrestling just in terms of the schedule because mm -hmm. you guys are working at nights. Yep. Sometimes twice a night. You're starting at 730. You're done by, I don't know, maybe midnight, maybe longer. Mm -hmm. right? So it's that kind of lifestyle that we really got to be disciplined. Were you, were you always disciplined even when you got in comedy full time and you were on the road and doing all that? I was more disciplined than other comics. But not that disciplined. Not like yeah. I am now. I think as I get older, I realize, like, you only have so much – like, your body only has so much energy. And if you're not in shape, your body's going to have less energy. And as you get old, I have so many friends that are my age that look like they're dead. Yeah. And I'm like, Jesus yeah. Christ. You know, I'm yeah. 56. And yeah. at a certain point in time, you realize, like, okay – this can't be uh, like a thing you do three days a week. This has got to be a thing you do every day. Like That's right. my body has to like know for sure it's going to work. And gratitude is mm. so important. I know it's one of those hippie crystal fucking wooden beads <laughs> things that annoys the shit. Because you, you know you hear it from the wrong people. Attitude of gratitude. And, yeah, yeah, there's yeah. certain things that get co-opted by the wrong. Like the word God, I think, is the same way. It's, yeah. like it's co-opted by some people, and then people have this negative association with it. But I think gratitude is one of those. It's it, it is real, and it's really important. And if you could just appreciate your friends and appreciate your life and appreciate people and appreciate what you get to do, you can fucking change your whole tone of existence. You change Life. the frequency you exist on. How, where you yeah. vibrate. Yeah. You can change, man. You change that. people around you, too, because they get excited by it. Yeah, that's right. It, affect, it affects them, That's too. what I love to do with these guys. I get to, it's excited. We're having fun. We're yeah. exercising, but we're all having a... We're all laughing. We're oh, having dude. a great time. Yeah. It was fun. They were looking over at you. They're like, are we fucking working out with The Rock? <laughs> Shane kept going. He kept like nudging me. Like, dude, we're working out with the rock <laughs> what the fuck what the fuck it was awesome it was awesome man. it was awesome but enthusiasm and appreciation it's like there's are key concepts in life and even if you're not where you want to be in life and you're grinding and you're on that hustle and there's a I, lot of people like i get that, it right? I, yeah, get I get it. it keep grinding but also appreciate it appreciate that hustle appreciate this thing appreciate this fucking beautiful chaotic uh, unknown existence you're in the thing we call life yeah that no idea. it's a thing man when you think about it it's like um and i feel like i want to know about you too here i feel like it was a learned thing like i, I yeah. of course the concept of oh gratitude sure i felt like i'm a pretty grateful guy but once I started realizing that a lot of the shit that I was trying to get after, and there's the North Star, there's that thing, whatever it is, mm -hmm. it's always there. But really, the shit that matters most is the stuff that's right here. Yeah, yeah. Like right in front of us. Yes. You know, this thing, life, family, loved one, mm -hmm. kid, whatever it is, job even, you know. And sometimes if you concentrate on the North Star too much, you don't even enjoy it. That's right. You don't even enjoy the whole experience. Of, of being present. Yeah, be, of enjoying the ride, enjoying the fucking journey. I mean, that's another thing. You know, it's it's about the journey. Ooh. <laughs> People have fucked up that expression, but it's real. Yes. Yeah. It is really about the journey. Yeah. It's just hard when you're gr when you when you're not where you want to be in life and you, if you're listening to this and you you're just not satisfied with your position in life, it's hard to to think that way. You all you want is that thing. But you got to somewhere along the line figure out how to enjoy yourself. Somewhere along the line figure out how to just go as hard as you can but also enjoy it. Try to enjoy it because that changes the whole tone of the experience and I think that makes you more successful. I really do because I think you have more energy, you have more focus. And you collect better energy around you from other people. They they feel your energy. They 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 they're inspired by the way you live your life and how you treat people and what you do and how you do things. And they want to do a similar thing. They want to mm -hmm. do something that makes them feel th that way. And they want other people to feel that way as well. And it's got the butterfly effect. It just it just goes through all the people that are around you, uh, brother. It's like it's it's like attracts like. It's, it's that thing, yeah. right? It's that thing, man, especially if you're grinding and you're right. And immediately, oh, this is the key. You just got to not get to a place where you're not worried about your bills. If that means like spend less money, if that means like live a, like a more prudent lifestyle, whatever you have to do. 
But get to that place where you're not worried about bills because that shit hanging over your head yes. causes stress, stress that fucking ruins lives. Yes. It ruins people. Yeah. And so then I was like, okay, now the most important thing is fucking keep going. Yeah. Like make sure you don't lose any ground here and keep going because now you know what it's like to be successful. Continue that. Do whatever, whatever the fuck you have to do, whatever work you have to put in to continue that. Yeah. And then when I got to a place where I felt like I have enough money that I, I'm fe I feel really secure, then I started to learn how to be happy. But in the beginning, it was just drive. It was just all go. Yeah. And it was just very selfish thinking. You know, I'm just thinking only on what I'm trying to do. But that's all we know. But especially if you, if you grow up broke and it's the thing that, you make up your mind, I feel, and it's the same thing that happened to me. I made up my mind, like, I'm broke today, but one day I'm never going to be broke, and I will never fucking go back to being broke. I'm, at least I'm going to do all I can yeah. not to be broke. So when you have that mentality, you you, you have the blinders on. Yeah. Oh, I'm not a loser. Because I That's felt it. like a, I, I moved a lot when I was a kid. We moved You'd, from uh, New Jersey to San Francisco when I was seven, lived in San Francisco until I was 11, moved in f to Florida from 11 to 13, Boston oh, wow. from 13 to 24. So it was always- Dude, moving. I lived in 10 states by the time I was 13. Yeah. Too. We, was, we were just always going where we had to go. And when we did that, I would have to make a whole new set of friends. Mm -hmm. And so it was this thing about being insecure and young and you know, life is kind of fucked up and chaotic and you're- you know, you're meeting these new people and kids are fucking cruel. Yeah. And I, you know, I always was insecure because we were always moving around a lot and my life was kind of chaotic. My family life was chaotic. And I just felt like a loser. I always felt like I just had to hide from people. I was like socially nervous around people. And I just felt like there were certain people that were winners in life and I was not that. I was a loser. And then... I started doing martial arts and I got really good at it. Yeah. Like re I was obsessed and I got really good at it really quickly. And I realized like, oh, I'm not a loser. Like I just have to find a thing, the thing. and fucking really get after it in a yeah. way that I know some people that have had an easy life, they're not going to pursue it like it's going to save them. And I was pursuing it like it's this is going to save me because I knew as I kept getting better, I started getting this feeling like, oh, I'm good at something dangerous. And then I got yeah. really good at it. And then I started yeah. winning tournaments and competing and traveling all the road. And so yeah. my whole life from 15 to 21 was just traveling around competing. That's all I did. I, wow. I was kind of, it was kind of like socially fucked up because I wasn't hanging out with many kids my age. I wasn't really partying. I wasn't doing. You're training. I was and, just and training. Competing. Yeah. Training. Hey, woman, since your man ain't got no heart, what's going on in my apartment tonight? I'll show you a real man. There you go. What? 